Well, we have another video. Um, I haven't uploaded in a while because I've been busy, of course. Um, so today, as you can see the title of the video, we're going to be revisiting the Lane's discography because a new album, a new album. Um, I'll be comparing the new album to the older ones, of course. Just to say the newer album is pretty damn good. Um, not gonna lie. It is on the end of the year list. Spoiler alert, you're gonna see where it is. You probably already know where it is. It's not near the bottom at all. Um, so, start off with my least favorite one of their albums is The Human Contradiction, of course, which you've seen in the last video. Um, r really, it's an experiment. It works. It, wor it definitely worked as an experiment. It's definitely a fine album. And I enjoy listening to it, but I enjoy listening to it less than the other albums. It scored an 8.7. I'm pretty sure an 8.7. Uh, don't quote me on that, but scored an 8.7 out of 10. The song on here is a Here Come the Vultures. Amazing song. Actually pretty damn good of a song. Um... Yeah, and that's mostly the only um, standout track, except number nine's The Tragedy of the Commons. Oh, that song is so good, but the other, the other, the album's not up to par with the other albums. Just going to say that right now. We're going to go to uh, number five, I think. Yeah, number five. Last time they had five albums, now they have six. Um, April Rain, their second album at number five. Um, same thing with the other one, just this one is a lot better than the other one. The, uh, human, it's better than the Human Contradiction. It's scored a 9.3. Uh, Virtue and Vice is good. Uh, April Rain, Stay Forever. Um, uh, that's, uh, Control the Storm, NVIDIA, and on the other side. Those are, like, the standout ones from this album that I would enjoy. Or, I enjoy all of them, but I do enjoy those a lot more than the other ones. Um, so yeah, that's, that's mostly what this channel is about, just telling you what I enjoy, what I don't enjoy, or what I enjoy, but not as much as other things. So, we go to number four. Number four is their second newest album, Moonbathers. Comes in with a 10 out of 10, it's perfect, but not as perfect as the other ones. Uh, Scandal is probably my favorite one on here. Sucker Punch, Hands of Gold. The Glory and the Scum. Ham, Hands of Gold, I think, has the uh, vocalist in March Enemy, which is another ranking I did on my channel previously. Uh, I think it was like three rankings ago, I think. So that one's uh, kind of an enjoyable video, so go check that video out as well. But um, So yeah, this album is perfect. There's no bad song on here. Just like the other one's no bad song, just no really bad song, like... There would be on some of the uh, underground type bands. But this is definitely one of the great, like, a great album. There's no question about it. It's two, It's a two-disc copy with the uh, live, live stuff. Enjoy the live stuff on albums. Um, Number three is their first album. It was... This was like the first album I ever listened to by them. So it is the album that I like base everything off of when I listen to them. Um, Frozen, Silhouette of a Dancer. Great songs there. No Compliance, See Me in Shadow. That is one of the best songs I think they've ever done. Uh, Shattered, The Gathering, Daylight Lucidity, Sleepwalker's Dream, A Day for Ghosts, and Pristine. Oh, I forgot the first song, Sever. Pretty good album, actually. Really good. Perfect album. This is probably the first symphonic album I ever listened to. It's definitely what I base everything off of now. It's like, Delane's like the one like band that's like the pinnacle of what I think symphonic is. And still cherish. Uh, number two. And this is a surprise, because this was my number one last time. If you already know what the thing is here with this, uh, We Are The Others. 
this was my favorite Delane album for the longest time. But there's, you probably already know what number one is. Um, number one, Mother Machine, Electricity, Electricity, We Are The Others, Milk and Honey, Hit Me With Your Best Shot, I Want You, There, Where Is The Blood, Generation Me, Babylon, Are You Done With Me, Get The Devil Out Of Me, and Not Enough. This is by far one of the greatest albums ever. Like, it's great. It it's it's great. I mean, I can't even explain how good this album is. Um, listen to this over a thousand times probably. It's definitely better than Lucidity by a long shot, but Lucidity is still perfect in my book. This is like a game changer album. This is like the one that you would see at the top of a album of the year list type thing, and. Yeah, just the songs Electricity and Milk and Honey are just one of the best songs that they've ever done. Um, and Where is the Blood is another great one. Uh, and we go to number one. You already know what number one is. If you're not experienced with their new album, uh, I advise you to go check it out because it is probably one of my favorite. It's my favorite ones they've ever done. Like... It's that good. Apocalypse and Chills at number one because, well, it's that damn good. Um, one second, we had everything. Chemical Redemption, Burning Bridges, Vengeance, To Live Is To Die, Let's Dance Creatures, Ghost House Heart, Masters of Destiny, no, Master of, Masters of Destiny, Legions of the Lost, The Greatest Escape, and Combustion. This is beyond perfect in every song is, it's not better than the last, it's just as good as the first song in the, like, every single song on here is just perfect. There's nothing wrong with any of it. There's nothing I think of when is the next song or anything like that or what's the next song going to be like, it's. This is like, I'm enjoying this song and I'm going to keep listening to it. And when it ends, I'm hoping the next one is just as good. That type of album. And it's just amazing. The best one on here is probably Legions of the Lost, definitely. Or not, uh, Masters, of De Masters of Destiny. The uh, song that they would play live, like, a year in advance to this album. Uh, that... And Burning Bridges, Chemical Redemption, th those songs all had videos before this album even came out. And, like, I watched them because, like, I wasn't... I try to avoid watching videos for bands until I until the full album comes out and I can listen to it front to back to see what everything is like. But one second gives you a good thought of what the next song is going to be like and what the, next, what the whole album is going to be like. I like how they did that with uh, putting the first song as a great song, and it will show you what the, what is to come in the album, which you can expect. But then, kind of switch it up in the middle of the album to kind of give it a uh, new life. Great. That's great stuff. That's great. Great. That'll be on the end of the year list, definitely. There's no question about that album that will be on the end of the year list. Um, I just... I just can't explain why it's just I can't explain I just did but so yeah that's how I rank their albums I think their new album is beyond perfect great great stuff it's up there at the best of the best albums of the year so that's how I ranked Elaine's um hope, albums hopefully you guys liked it um I'll be trying to get videos done, but no promises because I've been a little bit busy. The next one will be Hammerfall, of course. Um, if they don't, if they announce they're doing a new album, I'll wait. But, so, next one will be Hammerfall. Hope you guys like it. Sub to the channel. Uh, go check out my Instagram. I, sit, I post sometimes on there. Um, uh, I really don't have any other accounts anywhere else except Instagram and YouTube. It's kind of a struggle to get on other sites because I used to have Twitter. I got rid of it because I got tired of people uh, trying to guilt trip me into doing things that 
really I don't want to fucking get involved with, but, so yeah, hope you guys liked it, follow my Twitter, and, uh, follow my Instagram, um, follow my Instagram, like the video, comment what you think their albums, where you put their albums, what you think of their new album, uh, and I will see you in the next video, which will be in the next coming days or weeks.